You want to be a witch because witchcraft is cool. Guess what? The second thing you need to learn about being a witch is reading and studying and learning as much as you possibly can. The second rule of witchcraft is being forever a student. You're going to learn as much as you possibly can while also remembering rule number one. What is rule number one? We talked about it yesterday. It is questioning everything. So you want to study and learn everything you possibly can while remembering rule number one, question everything. Why do you want to study everything while also questioning the, ver the validity of the very thing that you are studying? Because there is a long tradition in the occult and witchcraft circles to purposely give out misinformation. There is a long tradition in witchcraft and occult circles to purposely give out misinformation. I'm going to say that a third time. There is a long tradition in witchcraft and occult circles to purposely give out misinformation. So you need to study absolutely everything you need to understand the sources you need to know how to find original sources you need to be able to do research and then question where that research came from where those sources came from and why so that you know that the information that you have is accurate misinformation is given out for a lot of reasons Mostly it's to filter out those who should know and those who shouldn't know. And um, if you aren't willing to do the work to find the real information, then you shouldn't know. If you're not willing to put in the effort and the learning process to learn the correct things, then you're going to be stuck over here with all of the bad information. And at worst case scenario, it could lead down to a, some pretty dark, bad things. But most of the time, it just means your magic's going to be ineffective. It's just going to be a placebo effect and your magic's going to be ineffective. So if you don't do the research and you don't learn what is true and what is false, worst case scenario, in most cases, it's your magic isn't going to do anything. So if your magic isn't doing anything, you need to ask yourself why. Circle back to question number one.